Alexa, remind me that I don't need a man and men are useless. When should I remind you? Every damn day. Meanwhile, to get to the island, the women have no choice but to swim to the shore in the clothes they're wearing. No dry clothes and no fire. Absolutely unfair for the girls. Damn it! It must be the wage gap! Is that men build the world. We could not function without men. Men allow us to have the jobs that we have. If men didn't do the jobs that they do, we couldn't even work at all. Men build the world but can barely run it. Have you seen most countries well, are run uh, by men? That's okay. 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 Yeah, actually, that's okay, one okay. of the best run okay. countries okay. and it's run did by you know, Did you know that women that's are more likely to wage war than men? If they're in power, they are more likely to wage war. Um, where's so, that from? Like that statistic? You could you could Google it if if you Google it. But has but have so women waged a, wars? Because yes, evidently yes, men have waged yes, wars. Yes, more men are in power. So so and men, there's a lot of wars so, going so, on. So okay okay yeah. So more men are in power and have been in power throughout all of history. And a lot of times we'll look at that and say, oh, it's because they're oppressing women. I'm sorry. People get shot when they're in power. People were assassinated. Like a lot of people didn't want to be in that position because it came with a lot of responsibility and you had a target on your back. And when women were in that position, they were more likely to rage war. They raged war at a higher rate. This so-called patriarchy, it creates good times and good times create feminism and woman empowerment. And feminism, it creates bad times and bad times begs for the patriarchy. We have nothing to drink. We don't know where we are. I don't want to sound too cocky too early. No, I don't think we should. I don't think we should at all. No. But right now, this we're, is... We're winning. Julie, you just order me about all the time. I would please leave you. Just... She goes on about this potatoes anymore I'm gonna stop them. This is the male version. <laughs> <laughs> I feel dreadful. Honestly, I feel absolutely dreadful. I never thought I would be so desperate for food and water. The water was not an issue. Yeah. And actually dehydration was your own fault rather than lack of water. The expedition party are dehydrated, hopelessly lost and wandering directionless. Walking is painful now. All night, no dry clothes and no fire, because we have to make mistakes. Doing things. A huge fucking snake came it's towards fun. me. It came right at me. We just got a prehistoric animal. <laughs> with my family and I just need to be at home. <laughs> All the decisions we've made thus far have been made collaboratively. We've not needed to conform to a system where there's a leader. Are you serious? Call the medics! She's wrong! We're winning. I don't want to drink the water. It tastes of piss. Decent water. The water was not an issue. It's half past two now. No sign of a fire. If 
I hadn't turned up today, and I turned up in six months, I bet these guys would be in pretty good shape. <laughs> I saw this comment from a fellow subscriber. He asked, what show is this? It's called A Lesson in Biology. Ninety percent of the time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. We're not letting those muscles discourage us at all. All right, let's load up nice. the stuff, guys. Girls, if we all just keep our head in the game and try to stay, you know, together, and just take the boys down, then we'll just be one huge ball of badassness. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell. Right, let me tell. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. The next day, I'm all about being independent, not you know relying on men for anything but fire is really important they keep their fire going because it's right by their bed i mean they just have a really good system going for them and we don't and we're so overworking on our shelter and it's still just it's not we got rained on all night last night every time we caught a fish it was like a big hurrah we know we can do something that the boys have been doing every day thousands of tears later to have a crocodile, gut it, and then carry it out of the jungle. I love men. Like, I think men are the coolest, but do like, I don't need them to survive. You do actually need men to survive. And here's why. Everything that you see around you was built and created and maintained by men. Okay. Everything. The infrastructure in this country, in every single country in the world, is built created and maintained by good, honest, hardworking men that just want to provide for their family. Everything, the roads you drive on, the buildings you live in. Isn't it crazy that our fellow brothers, the men, we tame the world for women. We go to wars. We put our ball sack on the line every single damn day to keep these bootylicious, these beautiful women safe. We do all that for them just to be ungrateful. Fuck me, right? Let me make this very simple. Women need men for survival. Men need women to propagate a society because you're saying, oh, like, uh, we, we don't need men, whatever. They actually did an experiment on this. You ever seen Survivor Bear Girls? They yeah. put women on an island and they put men on an island. Mm -hmm. The women within hours were literally almost going to die. They couldn't clean the water. They couldn't cook. They couldn't hunt. They couldn't do anything. They couldn't make they fire. They couldn't make shelter. They couldn't make fire. Mm -hmm. The men within a few hours had shelter set up, fire, and they were hunting. And they mm -hmm. were able to go ahead and figure out, okay, you do this, you do that. You have the skill set. Blah, blah, Delegation. Blah. But the women, they weren't able to do that. Oh, do you want to kill this animal? They're over here taking a fucking vote, figuring out if they want to do it because they're feelings. Not this true. is why I say men need to be in leadership roles because women, their emotions clout their ability to make decisions that might impede how they feel. I do agree with that. So, for sure. so the women need men. But wait! There's more! Way fucking beyond any fucking joke. Everyone needs off here. I swear to God, it's not a program, it's fucking ridiculous. Bear Grylls, <laughs> this survival program is a piece of piss. <laughs> 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 a crock of this size could provide the men with all kinds of games. Sweet and satisfying. So good. Coconut is incredible. One. Whole camp. I'm looking at your urine results and things. Yeah, and I'm looking at your weight charts and everything. And I'm looking at people whose kidney function is on a decline. And I cannot stand by and let that decline continue. Now, there's no easy way to say this. Um, yeah, you suck. Yeah, you just fucking suck. I'm teetering right on the brink of pulling you all off the island for medical reasons, over. 
get control. You can say six hours time, you're coming off the island. Over. Mother Nature just hit all of these feminists with the magical factory reset button. When shit hits the fan, that's when feminism goes right out the window. That's when men and women revert back to the traditional roles. He needs some milk. We'll take either one. I don't know. I mean, talk with a girl. Yeah. Chelsea, we already made a deal. Well, what are y'all gonna give us? If I had both of them, you know how to give them to. I don't know that. We'll have that we need that y'all have, and then we'll bargain. been crapped on since we've been here the biggest difference between a man and a woman and i wish i was wrong but a man he makes rational decisions with logic but a woman she will make decisions off emotions because for a woman the need to be right will always be more important than facts but the moral of the story is that men and women we need to stop competing with each other because men and women, we are made to complete each other. And gentlemen, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I'm at home. Okay, where you live? Uh, with my parents. Okay, and where do your parents live? Uh, they live with me. Okay, and where do you all live? Uh, we all live together. Okay, so where's your house? Uh, it's next to my neighbor's house. Hey, where's your neighbor's house? Ooh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Next to my house. Step out the car, please. I'm going to jail? Uh, 